guys, sorry. They're steamy. Good intro. Um, we welcome gathering, gathering. We wanted to do um, a bit of a mental health and me video. Should be mental health and us, really. Do you smell poo? I sniff. Oh. I like smell poo. Mental health and us. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted this to be really right. No, stop. We're just going to go again as if we haven't done this bit and we'll cut it out. Okay? Tonight on Mental Health and Me. Yeah? And me. Mental Health and Me and Me. Me and Me. Mental Health and Me and Me. Yeah. I've, I've got a northern partner, one. so yeah. I mean, there's social distancing, but I'll do it out for a donut, you know what I mean? We're not, we're not touching, but I will share oh, donuts. Touch they donut. are lovely. Oh, we thought that, she said, should we have the donuts first? I said, no, they make the video easier because mental health and me videos, don't touch that phone. If that phone moves and it cuts me out, I will be absolutely you panicking. Whole video, just me and the Did donut. you press record? Yeah. Don't both go for a bite at the same time. <laughs> Who's going right, to go right, have your bite? Hello, welcome to our mental health and me <laughs> and me. <laughs> video i chew quickly because i want to buy it we wanted to basically come on for anyone that either is new to the um to is okay need to talk or um new to our youtube or yeah new to our youtube our new our new tube is pretty you oh, our youtube is pretty new that. just do them up or leave them open. um yeah anyone that's new okay, to our I channel or we thought we'd do this video i've done that bit because people <laughs> ask a lot about our our own experience with mental health we run um the instagram page that is it's okay dot need to talk um and a lot of people ask about our experiences and it's a lot to put on stories isn't it no you've gone for a second bite i'm here waiting for my second <laughs> bite you start your intro it was your place i was doing my <laughs> intro you can't set right Just, sorry i'm starting to start look at that i've only had one bite um don't take another bite. Um, I've lost my place now, for God's sake. Yeah, so we run. Cut! <laughs> <laughs> really good. You better learn to chew faster if you're going to keep taking bites. I'm on my way. <laughs> If it was just me and you, I'd talk now. Oh yeah, me too. Oh, I am. We both oh. did. <laughs> Skip mm. ahead. Big finish, gone. Right. Um, basically, between us, we have, I've said basically twice, it really annoys Judge Judy and it annoys me as well. Um, she doesn't like light either, does she? She doesn't like light. We have had, um, throughout our lives, set between us, different mental health diagnoses, which is a word I struggle with, diagnosis is diagnoses um wow. and also like different traumas we've been we've been through different things like i was gonna say i'm not gonna waffle on about them that's literally what this video is about we're, waffling on. we're gonna waffle on about them sorry what was that? bit of donut we're gonna waffle on about them a little bit but we just wanted you to know um where this page is coming from so it's not we're not medically trained at all but we speak from our own experiences and stuff we've been through as part of the reason why Paige opened up the page if she ever stops chewing I'm sure she'll give you a brief little background about why she opened the page up. Should we wait? Big swallow. I opened this page in March, is that 2019 then? Mm. Yeah, in March 2019, um, after Mike from Love Island um, sadly committed suicide. Um, at the same time, I was having pseudo seizures, um, which are seizures due to in my case my PTSD um, and I realised that I really needed to start talking about my mental health and not hiding it because it was physically making me ill. Are you go are you having another no, bite? I was waiting in case you wanted me to step in. Right, you step in there. Right. Um so yeah as Paige said she was having pseudo seizures last year which is non epileptic seizures which came from um quite a traumatic childhood but also Paige had um O C D probably before any of that would you say Paige said OCD from mm. a really really young age that used to present a lot more in outward behavior than it does now because she obviously you've learnt ways to control things a bit now haven't you That's you've fun. learnt ways to control things a bit 
now, haven't you? A little yeah. bit more in, in oh, terms God. of she used to have the repetition, like really bad repetition with OCD and have to carry certain things with her. So in, in those respects, you've got a Definitely. bit more control over it, haven't you? But so I don't know where to start. When I start from the very beginning, when my dad died when I was small. <laughs> I'm not good. <laughs> I was going to carry that song on, but I'm not. No. No, you mustn't. No. No. Right, cut here. Start again. Hello and welcome to... I haven't done the... Hello and we're... Wait! <laughs> no, you're chewing. <laughs> Can you not take another bite when no one's speaking? Take that out and speak. So, um... Carol, well, I can't talk about that now because I'm laughing. No, you mustn't laugh. <laughs> You're so <still chewing. laughs> true. Um, you didn't, I don't think you had mental health as a child before the traumatic stuff happened, did you? No, so my dad passed away when I was five. He took his own life and so that's my dad and my sister and brother's dad and then Paige came along after from a... From a I was gonna say previous relationship. I mean, a from a, a new from another relationship after subsequent relationship. Um, An ultimate. No, nope. that means second to last. If <laughs> only, mum. No, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry mum. <laughs> so, yeah, my dad passed away when I was little, and at that time I didn't know that it was suicide. I was too little to know that, but. Um, I thought he'd had an accident and then years later mum explained to me what had happened and stuff and um, I didn't really get much therapy for it at the time, I don't think I did, I think we pretty much went, my mum's going to be going, yes you did, yeah. but, um, I think we pretty much went back to school and you know my my mum um, was left like, my dad was her husband, she had three little children, my, only, what, 20? I think she was 27, That's ridiculous. so it's you know so 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 difficult and painful. Um, and then Paige's, uh, she met Paige's dad, and we had Paige, which is like what? Ta da! Uh, don't, because these I haven't got mine. anything to. You don't they are, these. you've nearly bought those. These are, these were extras afterwards. You've nearly paid those off, so they are yours. Nearly in September. At least one of those is yours. Oh god, mm. one and a half. We're digressing, we'll do another video on your breasts if you like. Sorry. So then, um, Paige's dad came along, and we had Paige. Um, if this is your dad, I don't know what you want to go into, but um, the party line we normally say is he was very abusive. He's a little nasty. Not a nice man whatsoever. Um, I like to call him a dirty pig. She does like to call him a dirty pig. She doesn't have a relationship with him now. Um, none of, no one does. Um, I mean, some people do in the world, but not me. Some people in the world, no one in our family or anything like that. So um, we had that, and then. Um, our mum ultimately remarried and he was no, not nasty. not a nice man either I'm and um, I'll check that we're still recording because I'll be done if we're not. oh yeah we'll just make sure we are still recording because I'm like this is going on for ooh, nine while. minutes hmm. um yeah so then uh, my mum got with some man we moved in into a house with him and stuff and then things broke down he he was a really not a nice man things broke down tried to follow me on facebook recently <laughs> I was a friend <laughs> God, I'm as a friend. That's a no from me. Um, Did you poke him? <laughs> poke him off the fucking cliff. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a direct threat. Oh God, I got to have that. However. <laughs> yeah. um, anyway, so he left me in the middle of the sea, tried to drown me. And then, oh. um, no, I'm just... Uh, so he did? He, he did, did no that. he did. Um, he was horrible. And then we had to leave that house and um, so we were actually packed up in boxes for a couple of years. Yeah, because we moved into a big house of him, didn't we? Yeah, he had all the dollar and no, I was going to say all the gear, but no he idea, but that wasn't him with bills. the gear. He, he had the bag. But he still had loads of money left after a payday. Oh, yeah. Um, so yeah, he fucked off and then, rightly so, bye bye, girl bye. Uh, um, <clears throat> and then... Yeah, we, we finally found somewhere else, but in that meantime, my mum was poorly with her mental health and I started to get poorly. And when I was around about 14, I think I started self-harming. 
um, and I went to see my auntie for a bit and this is a horrible video you know yeah, I know but I don't enjoy this type of video I hope I hope it yeah but once it's out there mm. we don't have to talk about it again we can go go watch our video yeah true and I hope it comes across from a helpful place because everyone says to us all the time how are you so bubbly how are you so happy yeah and, and genuinely like days can still be a struggle but we've come so far from when, like when I was 14 and 15 I never thought I was gonna get better and feel better yeah. I never thought we'd have a stable home oh, I God, never no. thought we'd have any money we had nothing when we were little like you and know I there's levels of poor yeah we were like my friend said that um, they were scraping the barrel, but we didn't have a barrel to scrape. There you go. Um, I think as well, when people ask, oh, why do you run this page, blah, 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 this, if they watch this, they'll be like, wow, they do have the experience. Like, there's not really anything we haven't seen or No, there's, there's, there's been Unfortunately, there's not. Yeah. So over that sort of time is where I started looking after you and our brother a little bit more. And my mum had a really she she'll openly say now she did have a time where she really really struggled yeah. considering the things that she'd been through and in her life before she had us as well which is her you know her own story um yeah she really struggled with with everything that was going on and um i don't want to go too much into mum's own personal, no, but personal was... stuff but we started to like i i started to help look after the kids for a bit and that's um yeah became papa I call Coral Papa. If you know us on the page, you'll know that. Um, you did a burp sound. Do you do a burp? Yeah, I, I did. You got like a thick throat. You know, all the <laughs> burps. If you know us from the page, you'll know that. Is that a real one? No, but did you hear the door? <laughs> um, so yeah, but I think that was quite difficult because at the time you started looking after me, when my OCD started kicking in, wasn't it? And I was always worried about something, always asking you, oh, I've heard this. How, is that going to happen to me? Do you remember like all the time? Mm. Um, and Paige has bad emetophobia and I, I still think I gave you that not on purpose but my mum tried to bring Paige into bed with me one night when she'd been sick and I was like oh no get her away and I was like 13 or something you know we were just having like a bitchy night and I still I just wish I'd been like you're okay everything's fine no but, it's not that I mean I don't think you can I don't think it's that easy to give someone something is it I don't, no I don't know emetophobia came from a lot of things that's another thing I massively struggle with is emetophobia fear of being sick what else have we got? So Wait. I'm diagnosed with, well, I am diagnosed with bipolar, but there's like, it's they're not 100% sure it. about it. And I'm not, yeah, I'm not 100% like, set, it is a diagnosis, but I'm not 100% like, I don't, I haven't looked into Still that side too much. Yeah. But um, I do suffer with depression and, and anxiety, which I always like, oh, anxiety makes you feel like, yeah. when you say it, but we're doing so well we're all and everyone on the page has helped us massively if we're having a bad day oh, to speak to you guys and be like oh look you know this has happened this is how we're feeling we always get so much love back and we give we try and give that back out and we gather so many tips and put them all together on the page so we like to think we're in a good position to know like this doesn't work for me but this does yeah definitely um you yeah you have ocd oh your alarm's going off and we're filming. It's my alarm that says story. It's time for me to pop up a story. Are you going to do that? No, no way. I'm going to wait. Um, did you not close the road? No, I tried with cones. They've obviously blown them <laughs> off. <laughs> I live on like a main road as if I can close it off. <laughs> did you not close the road? I tried to with cones. <laughs> um, so yeah, Paige has OCD. Anxiety, PTSD, and phobia. I've got a thing called Pure O. Well, I am now. <laughs> You're talking about. <laughs> no, you don't have to. Um, you can cut it, obviously. I have a thing called Pure O as well, which I think is really important to mention. Yes. That is like OCD, but just the O, the obsessive. And you get obsessive thoughts. You don't necessarily have to act on them. Like, no, they're not constant. like do this or something will happen. They're like, you've, you've done, done this. this literally like yeah. you've done this you're in trouble some someone's gonna and come they, get you they give people this. the thoughts that make them think like you know where people sometimes think like i could kill them or like yeah make them feel like they're a danger to people around them or that they're make them feel feel like horrible things about themselves that they know isn't true it's That's, like any thought that you that a normal human would be like oh god like, that makes me uncomfortable your brain just fires them at you like non-stop it's so important to realize like we've both been told about it through our um, therapist it's so important to realize that those thoughts are not a reflection on your opinion definitely they're not your choice if you've got something 
Not that, I mean, I'm bisexual, I'm not saying this in any derogatory way whatsoever, but we have had people come to us and say, you know, my brain, I know I'm not, I know I'm not, but my brain keeps saying, what if you're a lesbian or what if you're gay? What yeah, if you're and then they feel bad the that their partner... And it's all, obviously, it's there's nothing, like... absolutely nothing wrong if you are any of those sexualities, but if you know that you're not, or what if I'm a racist and stuff like oh, that, yeah. but like, you know, putting that stuff into your head, it's no reflection on your own opinions. Definitely yeah, have a look into your eye. Like... Especially with like, the racism thing, Stinks I, couldn't, out, yeah. I couldn't think of anything worse. So yeah. I get scared yeah. that I am. Like, do you yeah. know what I mean? Particularly like, at the moment. I mean, it's so relevant at the moment. Oh my God, that, yeah. That's a whole other video. Jesus, yeah. Mm. Um, see, me. look, are you gonna it's a field. Out? You could have said that was a cove. Are you going to Do you know what? Mm. Do you know this sound? <laughs> Is it Lady Gaga? <laughs> it's not bad. <laughs> Every morning, that. <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about? I do. A bird that does that. <laughs> yeah. Every no, morning. I've never heard that before. You're not? No. Right, Babes, this is not one. ornithology. What's that? Which mean? is birds. <laughs> no, it's actually not birds. Um, <laughs> just say birds. Had enough. Go in then. Stinks out, haven't I? Oh, right, so. Um, yes, Carl, I'll talk about the. I'll put out if you want. I'm just reminding <laughs> you of what's on our list. I haven't forgotten these bad boys. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, so I had two miscarriages. I had one in 2017, October. And then I had another one in October, no, in January 2018. The first one I had no idea I was pregnant, um, but I was quite far along and I didn't realise. Um, you actually saying, had your boob job while you were pregnant. Yeah, um, which probably didn't help. Um, I was staying with, didn't know. No. I was staying with you at that time, wasn't I? And then um, after that, I got pregnant almost straight away again. And then, but that, like, I knew about it straight away. And I was, I was only like two weeks when I first found out. So it felt, felt like a really long time. And then uh, in the January, things, it wasn't growing properly and stuff, was it? No, we had some early, we, I was there, but not, obviously, it's not, they weren't mine biologically. But, um, <laughs> Yeah, there were some early scans and stuff, and I know that other people have felt this way as well with mental health, that Paige has only recently, like, started to come to terms with, like, I hope you don't mind me saying this, but that she feels guilty now because she had doubts about oh, yeah. whether it was the right time and things like 100%. that. But that's was 21. Yeah, that's was absolutely, 21. like, everyone... It's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah, and everyone who's ever got pregnant at some point must have thought, you know, is this... Is it the right time for me? It's nothing. Hundred percent. And when you look at that pregnancy test, even if you're trying, you look at a pregnancy test and it says positive. You're like, your heart is like, huh, because it's it's completely. It must be life. I mean, I've never been there, but I just know what I know from you and other mums, yeah. and like, it's a lot. Yeah. So yeah, there's a lot of like guilt around that still, um, which we need to work on because there shouldn't be, and you would say to anyone else like it's absolutely not. normal, but you know. It's easier said than done. Oh God, everything is. You can't control your own. This is why everyone needs another therapist. And our therapist who we've spoken about loads of times, me and Paige actually have the same therapist, still has to have therapy. It's part of her, um, like to keep her license, she has to have therapy once a month with her supervisor, which I thought was a bit like bizarre at first. No, it makes perfect sense. Yeah. You got that, off load, didn't you? Exactly. Everyone has to be able to get things off their chest. So that's what we're still in. Th well, I'm not currently having therapy in the last few weeks, but uh, we are still un both under our therapist. And I'm going to book back in with the amazing Rebecca EFT. I'll yeah, put her Rebecca Francesca below. EFT. She She's is incredible. incredible. Yeah, I'm, I need to book in some sessions with She's her. Let me incredible. consult my list. Are you putting that in your list? I'm not putting it in my list, I'm looking at the list. Oh, right. Trick. Trick. So I Trichotillomania. Suffer, trichotillomania. I suffer from the hair pulling oh. disorder trick. Um, that's been since um, I had... So I had... Like, I have to, like... I have to... It would be silly not to mention this, but I can't go too much into it. But I will do in years to come. But um, I had a an accident in uh, 2015, which has left me with a disability. I really struggled to walk. Um and I've got like a very visible disability um, in, in one of my legs and I'm still going through court about it so I can't like tell you what happened but um, suffice to say it, it left me feeling very 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 anxious and much more risk aware and much more frightened to go out and for a long time I was just in the house I mean I couldn't walk for ages but for a long time I was just in the house and 
blah 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 get back to what I was trying to say which is I've developed tricks since then which is like a hair pulling disorder which um, I've got a headband on because it looks very fancy but I do have like a sort of really dodgy hairline where <clears throat> where I pull from um, but we try and do things to support other trick causes and we know that loads of people on the page suffer with similar so it can be a type of um, it's a type of OCD apparently and it can also be um, a type of self-harm yeah. um, lots of people have derma as well which I think is dermatillomania which is the same you pick your skin um, or your lips um, face lips Face lips? Face, you put your face lips. Oh god, yeah, I'm not picking those. Done. No. Is that? That's... I don't think that's a... Hmm. Leave it in the comments. Would they be red raw? They, they, they probably are red raw. Mine are pink raw. Pink raw. Mine are purple Salmon. raw. Yours right, just you mouth to them how you would describe my fanny and then I'll say it out loud. Have you done it? Go on. Purple hoover pipe. I mean, I don't know why I'm celebrating. <coughs> I've got, well, we've done everything that's on my list. Hmm? We've done everything, oh, except, so, like, Paige will do hers after, I'll just do mine. So I think it's right to tell you about the times in our life where we were at our very, very lowest. We'll skim over this and we'll have another donut and we'll go back to our respective homes. Um, I, in, in East, at around Easter 2018, I, got so so low that I never ever ever thought I could recover and Paige remembers more of this than me to be honest because I've blocked a lot of it out like I physically can't get those memories back um, where I I just I wanted to end it all and I tried twice and I was my brain was telling me so much bullshit that now I know like a good analogy we've been told is that if your legs broken you wouldn't trust it to walk for you and when your brain is poorly <gasps> just a, a, just a fly no no no, Wait, no that's a fly there was wasp on my lap interrupting my monologue Sorry. on a fly it's been raining for a few minutes just gonna check that it's oh yeah done. make sure we're still recording are we yeah yes. coral Pardon me. so um you can cut that bit out you're good at editing you're ready in this. She's, me. I mean, I'm not. I'm putting this up exactly as it is. Cause Are I you? <laughs> <laughs> you might have brushed your hair. Literally. Um, so yeah, I, I attempted to take my own life twice. I was under like a crisis team, acute mental health team. They came out to me every day. Um, I was on 24 hour watch. That was the only way I could stay out of hospital. And Paige and my mum and my other half and my other sister and my brother came down as well at times were looking after me the whole time physically looking after me I mean putting medication in my mouth and they had to take all my other medication off me and like physically washing me and everything we're gonna have to put trigger warnings at the start of this because the whole video is a trigger yeah, yeah, to yeah. different people but um, as a result of that I, I, I still don't know exactly what the turning point is but I strongly believe from that that there is a course of treatment and help that can help anyone and it took me years, obviously, I started suffering with my mental health when I was 14. I've been on and off medication. We haven't spoken about medication. No. On and off medication for, like, years at a time during that time. And now I've come to the realisation that I, if I don't need to, if I don't want to, there's Hi. a dog, there's a dog. Come here. This isn't even Paige's dog. Hey, say Ryan. Hello, Hello, darling. How are you? Handsome boys. Oh. Hello. Then you're you're gorgeous, much boy. more important. Do you like YouTube? We're gonna have to get into sign a disclaimer. Mm. Do you mind being on the internet? Do you mind? What's your have opinion you on mental medication health? for mental health, Finn? Oh, Finn's bad on it. Do you feel that it's the same as taking medication for any Finn. other? Finn, not the donuts. Come You're on. gorgeous. You're Do you feel as if it's the same as taking medication for any other illness or injury? Like if you have fleas, Finn. If you had fle you have to have flea treatment once a month. Do you think that you should? Did you <laughs> Did you, I really hope you picked that up. Just went, uh. You're a gorgeous boy. You are so That's gorgeous. also my opinion on medication as well. Please the, same as, the same as Finn's, that if it was any other illness or injury, <clears throat> I would accept the help and treatment that I need. 100% um, There's no shame in it. There's no... 
you don't have to feel guilty you don't have to feel embarrassed it's just literally like going to your doctor and saying like mental health doesn't discriminate anyone could pick anyone could wake up and be poorly and that's the same as waking up with cancer it, it can happen to anybody yeah, there's no literally. shame in that it's you wouldn't be like balance, oh it? i'm not going to tell anyone yeah like because of shame or guilt there's no it's don't touch me because of oh, distancing sorry. Oh, I love this side I'll of take the, dog. the I'll take the hind. <laughs> um, and Rebecca, EFT, actually said, you're not going to be able to turn around there, babe. You're too big for that gap. Oh, wow. Beep, Ooh. beep, 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 beep. Clever. <laughs> um, Rebecca, EFT, actually said You love said where she me, lives, that just, this isn't hers. This dog. ain't mine. <laughs> no one's looking for her. We know Literally. you. We um, know you. You've got a collar on. Um, <laughs> oh, God, he just comes in my house oh, It's so lovely. Um, yeah, Rebecca, EFT, actually said that. Medication doesn't do anything that the brain wouldn't normally if it was healthy. And yeah. I love that. Yeah, I really do. It's literally like saying, oh, you know, I'm not going to take insulin. I'm going to power through it. Yeah, it's just not a thing. Or something. It, um, you can't correct that. Sometimes if it's... Need, and I think medication <coughs> and therapy together are a golden oh, God, yeah. thing. And talking about how you're feeling, that is why the page is there. Yeah. And there's so many types of therapy. I had therapy at school. Um, yeah. I had grief therapy through grief encounter when i was older i was about 20 then um and Isn't i through grief encounter i didn't know yeah. that and i've had um i've i've recently had therapy since i've been much older i had some after the accident and i've just had some in the last year and the most recent two have been spot on for me and the th he's got a tick has he yeah he's got a tick go and take him to his oh, mum I'll, I'll text her after she's not out she'll be oh. happy i'll text um, her Good yeah, we'll wrap this up because we've got a, we've got a dog with an emergency tick. Um, <laughs> Karen, I've got a cat with no pulse. <laughs> <laughs> I've never felt a tick before. That's really horrible. Um, to be fair, it's always in the woods. Yeah, always, always, like don't give up. Always think there is something out there that will help you, and there absolutely is. Bye, darling. You've got his mum's number. Yeah. I'll okay, we'll text her in a minute. We'll text her in a minute. Yeah. Bye. Sorry. Carry on. Any closing words? There was something else I was going to say, but I can't remember. Panic attacks, massive thing oh. for me, huge. I, I used, used to, to have, have panic attacks when I was younger. Much yeah, more. I used to have them all the time, but I mean like 20 a day, no joke. I could have, just go from panic attack into panic attack into panic attack. If you're having panic attacks, please speak to your doctor. I didn't until I was 22. And you were having them since you were a kid? Since I was little, and I always just kept it as like my little secret sort of thing and just tried to hide them. Please speak to your doctor. Please come over to the page and speak to us. Um, we've got an anxiety highlight, haven't we? With yeah, loads we've of got highlights for loads attack. of different things on the page. Come and have a look. Yeah. Um, we also do anxiety relief bracelets. Yeah, so we started um, to do the trick headbands. Yeah, there's a lot going on. So if, you, if you've if you seen this on YouTube, please come over to the page and say hello. Yes. Um, and if you've seen this on a little thing on Insta, you if won't you've have. swiped up to get here, you won't have because I'm not putting this bit on Insta. Just be the beginning. Yeah, but if you come over from Insta and watch till the end, put a aubergine in the comments. Leave an aubergine in the comments. And if you found us on YouTube, leave a fish. We love you. Thank you so much for listening to our absolute waffle. Um, we hope that gives you a better idea. Sorry, of... I'm wearing a dressing gown. Next time I will get dressed. You're not sorry. We hope this gives you a better idea of um, how mental health relates to our lives and how we try to use that going forward to help other people um, our inbox is always open we answer every message we receive we're always here um, there's loads of services that are 24 7 on it's our services highlight as well is it Pepsi? That's oh for god's babe, sake you that? yes alright so oh, I will I'll have one, one yeah there. but I'll be imagining it's Pepsi goodbye goodbye good friends oh, goodbye 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 there won't be a video tomorrow. But hey, what? Uh, so there won't be a video tomorrow. That's okay. What? See you up next week. See you very soon. I know. Very soon, I know. If you were alive in the 90s, please don't copyright us. Comment what that was. <clears throat> no. Bye, yes, darling. Um, we, there'll be a video up. This will go up on Wednesday. Wednesday week. And then there'll be a video up on Sunday of us doing several boring things around our own homes. Bye bye. Gets a donut. Pardon me. <laughs> so you're off the camera. <laughs> it's like Holly and Phil. <laughs> I'm Holly.